Welcome back, everybody. This is the Benjinator. And I am Ericode. We are watching Let's Play Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy X. X. The last time we saw an awkward scene between Riku and... Well, nobody. Riku wasn't there. Uh, Tidu and Yuna, where she has resolved to continue her quest. Yep. And now we're in the Makalania Woods, and we're about to go to the Calmlands! Woohoo! Which are... Pretty, pretty Calmlands. Yeah, it's... it's you'll, you're gonna see some, some greenery that we haven't seen in a time. We've been used to some, like... Some you know, nice rolling hills. Rolling hills, and we're gonna get away from the 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 shiny aqua that we've been accustomed to for the last I don't know twelve videos in the damn desert. Nobody At lives. least. Yep. <laughs> and I was playing happy music. I should mention, guys, that uh, you're gonna be here quite a bit. Long ago, especially if you decide to do side quests. The road ends here. <laughs> Beyond, there are no towns, no villages, only endless plains. But there is going to be a sad Many Wookiee mountain. Stray from their path and lose their way here. Uh oh. Is she going to have an aneurysm? The hills are alive. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm spinning too much. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past Yuna, especially after the last video. That was just crazy. No where to go. She has a built in GPS. Yeah, apparently. She must have a uh, Google Maps. I Is he gonna be blunt? I won't let you die. Yup. <laughs> find a way somehow. Wait, he does it in that like, you Blunt know, but vague, I like it. Blunt, but he does it in like a like a Bob Ross voice. <laughs> I don't think that was a Bob Ross voice. Well, yeah, I guess if we started talking about happy trees. Mm. We'd be like, I'm gonna save you. <laughs> We're gonna be happy little, happy little units. There, there. <laughs> Let's go. Woo! Going to the calm lands. You, you can't jump down that cliff, by the way, guys. I guess I wanted to believe that words could make it come true. It looks like a big friggin' golf course, is what it looks like. I mean, you gotta go and wreck it. Come on. <laughs> it's a nice place. Yeah. This place has some interesting enemies, though. And it's actually important that there are some interesting enemies. Because you're gonna be fighting a lot of them. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, here's here's our... This, this, this should probably look like a usual combo. So we got Lulu... So what do we use on this guy? We use Blizzara! And it, it might kill him, might not, actually. We'll see. Yep, it's dead. And Tidu is not useful in this battle. At all. Yep, but we can kill the bee with Waka. And you have Waka. Almost 2,000 damage, so. And Orin, of course, is just dominating, as usual. That's how it's done. Yep. Yeah, Orin, that <laughs> is how it's done. <laughs> that is how it's done, precisely. Alright, so. Comlands, pretty big. Oh, and look, there's point. There's there's the guy with the pointy hat. Oh no, fucking creepy. Perhaps you would like to know what's <laughs> about to be No. <laughs> Do tell. <laughs> As you know, these plains were once a battlefield. How do you know that we know? <laughs> I got the toxin going on, right? That war left we haven't talked about the toxin in a long time. Land. Then time passed. The summoners took note of this uninhabited land. Great battles could be fought here <laughs> with no harm to the common folk. Just even creepier battle when he's like right up in your face. Just Sin nodding as he's world. reciting history. The summoners wait here, ready to perform the final summoning. The final ah, summoning. To know what they must feel. In any case, when Sin is defeated here, the calm will visit Sin once more. That's why this place is now known as the Calm Lands. Exactly who dubbed it so is unknown. Just say it was you. That, as they say, is that. He looks old enough. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, let's let's continue down the path. Oh, and by the way, guys, you'll, you'll be able to you'll be able to get chocobos here in a little bit, which is pretty cool. All right, we've already seen this battle. Oy vey, let's. There's, there's, there's actually some pretty cool stuff in the comlands. Look, there's a chocobo. Ooh, I see a chocobo. You can't ride those guys though, unfortunately. Uh oh, now they're all running away. And who the hell is that? 
Is that the... I don't think that that thing could have stopped that quickly. <laughs> Probably not. Oh boy, we got a different camera angle, which means we're gonna fight. Yeah, okay. Ambushed. That's not good. Oh shit, fire Aga. Oh. How? Oh! Alright. Yeah, let's so... get Riku out and steal some shit. Yeah, let's, let's do that. <laughs> Die, puppy. Yep. As much as I hate to do this, Oren, we do need Riku here. Just doop doop doop. Grenades, which are not useful. But Blizzara, in this case, will be. By the way, we're at the point in the game, guys, where you can use armor break on these blobs if you really want to. So we could have gotten Orin in here and have it's him. It's not really necessary, but we yeah. could. <laughs> it's getting to the point where Lulu's usefulness is starting to slowly fade away. Actually, it has. Fa I think it faded away a while ago. Okay, now the. Oh, there he is. Hello! Oh, Ren! Yay! Okay, well, let's get let's look at his weapons. Oh wow, that's expensive. That could have, that's actually pretty good, but that's uh, well, these are all you know, magic counter. Oof, that's good. This is actually pretty good stuff, and you can get that later. But that is really expensive. Curative charge. Oh, uh, you know what? That's for Rico, so we don't need that. And you know, let's get the Savior Bangle, but let's not equip it. White Arm Guard. Yeah, that, that's actually way better for Walker, so we're going to equip that. And the Buckler. The Buckler. Ah, uh, we don't need Magic Counter at the moment. Maybe later. Alright, let's uh, let's see if we get, get get any good items. I don't think... Yeah, we don't, we don't really need anything here. Okay, cool. Let's heal up and sphere up. We'll be right back. Alright, guys, we were just talking about Disney movies. Sing with me now. <laughs> and we got a high potion out of that last battle. So... We're gonna we're gonna head towards the middle portion, uh, even though the the red arrow thing is telling us where to go. Okay, looks like we got a new. Oh, okay. So get this, this is this is a new setup. We've seen these enemies before, but but so, now there's four of them. And that, now there's yeah, there's two evil bees, which usually poison you. I, I'm actually surprised that this hasn't happened yet. Okay, Dingo, Dingo, let's hit him in the face. Woo! Woo! Oops, that was that was not supposed to be for the robot. <laughs> That's supposed to be for the killer bee. Oh, poison! Poisoned. Poison is not good. Poisoned and impaled. Yeah, Orin can deal with the impaling pretty well, though. He's just like, bitch. There is a gay joke in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. There we are. See, Tito's getting pretty good at hitting those flying enemies now. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I have this image of, like, you watching three people out in a field fighting these things, and like this one guy just like jumping, trying to hit a bee with a sword. <laughs> yeah, kind of swatting away. Well, that's 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 kind of what Tito's overdrive is, really. I mean, a little bit, yeah. It's 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 very swatty. Okay, so now you notice in that mini map, there's a little area that's kind of off on an island. You'll be able to get to that later. That is kind of an important part. Okay, so what we want to do is actually head up here. Yeah. Yeah, we want to head close to where that save point is. I'm sorry, guys. I was kind of losing track. Let's see if there's new enemies. No, I don't think there is. A funny story, guys, about Lulu is that... Code and I, we played this game. We spent a lot of time and a lot of sphere levels trying to get Ultima. And oh, the result was man, incredibly was disappointing. so dumb. Yeah, so. We were so excited. Oh, about oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, kill it, kill yeah, it, kill it. Okay, so we need to silence this guy, first of all. Otherwise, he's going to hit you with uh, something really nasty. Oh, he's immune! Great! Okay, but we do have Kamari who can use a lancet on this guy. Push it. Yeah, he's got bad breath. Great. Now he's gonna hit you with a bunch of slimy things. Let's see if we can let's see if we can take out the uh the Marlboro man. Okay, so let's uh let's, let us use power break. Because he does have some pretty powerful attacks. So, Waka. Uh, we don't have Sleep Buster, but we can use Dark Buster, which is good. Whee! In the face. Also immune. Okay, let's uh, let's use Bad Breath on him, see if it actually works. This, this will cause status ailments if you guys are familiar with other Final Fantasy games. And... And he's immune to it! Okay, that, I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> this guy does How have... How much HP does this guy have? This guy has about 20,000. Oh, quite a bit. Bad. Yeah, it's definitely survivable. 
You know, you know, you know who we need really need to get in here though is Tidu to use uh, haste and perhaps slow actually. So Kimari, eh, who's Kimari? I haven't been using him enough. So slow, slow down. Ah, also immune to that. Oh shit! Bad breath is going to be an awful, awful thing. By the way, ew. Yeah. Well, oh, it gets all three of us at the same time. Uh huh. Super cool. Yeah, we, we should have just ran away. <laughs> no, it needs to die. Yeah, ho hopefully the, the confusion will run off pretty soon, because right now we're just all kind of like... ...blurging around. Thankfully we got the power break on, which is great. Okay, so... You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get... We're gonna get Bahamut in here. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> just Fuck you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Your status ailments on me? I think not. You're gonna reap the whirlwind. Woo! So, we're gonna use attack on him. Do a shit ton of damage. We're gonna have Mega Flare pretty soon, which is gonna be awesome. And Bad Breath is gonna have absolutely no effect. So, that's awesome. Wait, you can't status effect out Aeons? The Aeons are immune to everything. Really? Woo! Interesting. Yep. So hit him in the face with Mega Flare. Do some damage. Multicolored damage. Maybe it'll go over 99,000. Okay, 4,000. That's okay. That works. We can we can always summon a other Aeons if we need to. Ouch! In the crotch. So uh, let's see. Oh, Blazaga. Okay. Actually, Thundaga. Let's let's see how it goes. Oh, you know what? He's he's he's, he's weak to fire. So let's use Fire Aga. Fire guy. Boom! Wow. Not bad. Bahamut, you can do it. I believe. I believe in the you that believes in himself. Yes. Alright, this... We may lose Bahamut, but we'll, we'll make sure to get him back afterwards. At least he'll be... He'll, he'll still have overdrive when he comes back. Oh. No, we should be able to finish him off. There we go. Scratch in the face. Boom! Boom. That is how you kill the Marlboro Man. The Zizzle Niche. Yep, we should be able to get something good out of that, hopefully. Oh, a Monosphere. And a Silent Spear. Okay. Cool. Alright, let's uh, heal up and sphere up. We'll be right back. Alright, guys, so we're actually we're heading towards almost civilization. When I say almost, I mean, like, there's basically, like, a little truck stop. Like Mongol civilization. <laughs> they, they live in a yurt, so. Yep. Okay, so this is probably the Marlboro Man again. Oh, no, that's another. This is another interesting combination. Oh, and Orn got silenced, but that's okay. We're gonna bring in Tidu to kill the dingo. Kill the dingo! Or the fire breathing wolf, whatever you want to call it. It's something. Alright. And Waka. Gonna be like. This one is mine! Hit him in the face. Woo! Ow! Ow! 5,000 damage. Holy shnikes. Yep. Actually, we're gonna do this properly. Well, no, we'll, we'll save it to the next battle. You know what? I'm gonna save Orin for like if we if, if we have to fight another Marlboro Man, uh -huh. I'm gonna have him golf. That'd be good to golf that. Actually. Yeah, it'd be like it's it's fun to golf the really large like powerful enemies. Yes, it is. <laughs> like we need to try and golf Seymour. Right. Yep. Oh, yep. Here we go. We got we got a little uh, little keg stand over here. Okay. So this is this is an Albed shop, if I recall. What is? Oh, look! It's who the hell is that? Father Zook. Long time no see. You are you not? Hmm. You certainly don't look like Mr. Kinox's murderer. <laughs> you don't look like you could kill say? someone. Please tell us what has happened. Mr. Micah just issued a personal order, you know. It said that you and your guardians murdered Maester Kinock and fled. Ah. We are to kill you on sight, or so it says. Dun dun dun. What of Pavel? Things are calm on the surface, but the depths are turbulent. After the death of Maester Kinock, Kelk Ronso left Yevon. Oh yeah. Convenient. Getting around will be easier with Yevon in disarray. 
At least the Ronso guy seems to have but his head in the right careful, place. My friends. You have been branded enemies of Yevon. Of course. You should avoid temples for the time being. <laughs> Fortunately, we're not going to see another one of those for a while. For your warning. Father, you came all the way here just to tell us this? To tell the truth, I was a little curious to see this summoner you are guarding. I hope her pilgrimage goes well. For your sake, too. I hope she dies at the end. Thank you. <laughs> I must be off. I shall pray for all of you. You know, it occurs to me that what they're doing, because it's like a sports thing, it would kind of be like if 20,000 years from now the wave was like crossing yourself. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, it, it's... I remember... It kind of reminds me of that scene from, uh, what is it called? Uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. <laughs> or maybe Angels in the Outfield. Right, yeah. Alright, so we made it into the Comlands. We're at a rest stop. Where are we going to go next? Find out in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. This is the Benjinator. And I am Error Code. See you later. Bye-bye!